Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Priming, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Uh, and tonight, I am going to apologize. <clears throat> I'm going to apologize for my video on Wednesday. And the reason why is my channel, my whole MO, my reason for the things that I do is to encourage and to enlighten and to help people. And Wednesday's video didn't do that. Wednesday's video, it incited rage. It caused a lot of hurt. Not only from the people I was talking about, exploiters, um, but also in my own fan base. And I also made a big mistake in actually said the leak that I had saw, which also ruined it for a bunch of people. So, um, I am sorry. I truly do apologize to everyone. And I went ahead and joined JB's server, his Discord server. This is not to say I approve of exploiting, but I got a message saying that he like code primates really upset with me and I'm not going to record a video and I, I messaged JB directly and I, I told him like dude that was not my intent I didn't say any specific names or people of doing exploits because exploits no offense you guys aren't special you haven't been doing it new I was doing exploits way back in like 1998 1995 so that's not the point it's it, it was the fact that it had all been building up and it's been building up for a really long time because lumber didn't used to be that bad i mean a lot of games didn't used to be that bad and now it's just it's rampant it's like it's like modding in minecraft it's become the norm it's it's a normal thing to do but my point is the fact that i caused a lot of my own fans some pain and i caused a lot of people who do exploits Pain. And I should never, I should never have made you guys feel anything less or anything bad. And I wanted to apologize. So, um, I do not agree with the choices that you made. All right, but I am also, I'm not going to make you feel bad for for wanting to do something different with the game. Uh, I can see the point from from everyone's perspective. Um, I can see how not getting updates could cause you to um, not be interested in the game anymore. I've had a lot of people tell me, Code, I used to watch you all the time, and I used to play Lumber, but Lumber got boring. Well, I don't really think that's the case. I think you may have grown up. It's not the fact that the game is boring. It's just, I mean, how many people still play with uh, the toys that they played with whenever they were a little kid. It's, it's the, same, the same principle, the same kind of thing. You don't play the same video games after you grow up so, so long. I just happen to come back to Roblox because I know how to program, I'm really good at programming, and I really like the aspect of lumber. I love the way that it builds, I love uh, Defaultio that he's so, he is so introvert and just genius level programming on this. Oh, uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing the blue maze kind of as a, just a background for my apology. And I, I am over there inside JB's server. Um, I spoke with everyone directly for the last couple of days. I took some time to kind of reflect because yesterday I didn't release a video and I'm glad I didn't because it gave me the chance to kind of reflect and fix my mistake I I was tired and I was very angry when I made that video so it happens and it's it's not that the the anger was the emotion, it was that I was hurt, you know, and I was upset and frustrated and everything else, and it just, it all came to a head, and 
I probably should not have just, should not have recorded that day. Now, now that it's up, I'm not going to take it back because I feel like that would be even more of a mistake. I find it to be a great example um, of me for myself and as an example to others. So I'm going to leave it up. Okay, what part is attached here? Am I missing something? Hmm. I don't actually need blue wood. I was just trying to find the maze. And if you were paying attention, it's door six. That's open. Doors one through five are closed. And yeah. My channel has never been a big drama channel. It's never, it's never been here to make people feel bad or anything, anything less than a human being. A human being who should be loved and who should be appreciated for who they are. Each one of you is an individual and each one of you deserves the same amount of love and respect that I give everyone else. So, I, I, I hope you can respect me after this. Um, if you, if you dis, if you unsubscribe after today, that's fine. I, I probably deserved it. Um, and it's not to play the, the martyr card because a lot of you are like, Oh, shut up. It's not even that big of a deal. It's a big deal to me. Um, a lot of people, uh, a lot of you inside the Discord, inside uh, JB's Discord, were like, Oh, it's all right. It's fine. I'm like, uh, no, it's not. I mean, it's, yeah, it'll, it'll be okay. But I mean, it is not okay that I made you guys feel bad. And I did not mean for that to be the intent of the video. I meant it to absolutely express my displeasure with what's been going on, but I don't I don't want you guys to feel bad about that. That's not your guys' fault. It's the corporate Robloxians! No 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 I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just, I, can't, I can't even blame them so much anymore. <clears throat> They're just trying to make their money. That's all. Ooh, that kind of sounded bad. Um, Roblox, I love you too. You're amazing. I love you guys. <laughs> um, a lot of people said, Code, please don't quit Lumber. I probably won't stop playing Lumber. Even if I stop recording videos, and even if I like retire my channel, and even if I... Uh, if I'm in the retirement home or what, whatever may come, I'm probably still going to be playing. Even even if you guys grow up, you go to college, you get married, you have kids of your own and everything else, I'm probably still going to be over here messing around at nighttime whenever I get a chance. Um, my wife, she tells me all the time, she's like, when you retire, we're going to get an RV and we're going to go see the world. I'm like, why? <laughs> No offense, I, d I don't want to go see the world. Um, I've been to Japan, I've been to uh, California, I've been to a lot of states west of Missouri. Um, and heck, last year, or this year, back in March, uh, before the whole coronavirus hit, I got to go to Boston and, and go see the east, or yeah, east coast states, a couple of the east coast states. So, I mean, I've been traveled. I, I've traveled around. I'm just not interested in getting an RV and... Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Let's just get this up here. And Jeez. Uh, I'm not interested in getting an RV and, and just traveling around. I mean, it could be fun for like a month or so, but... Constantly? Mm. Uh, I don't want to do that. Not unless we have like a, a really nice RV. That'd be cool. And then I could get those shorts, the blue shorts and the the hat to go along with it. Maybe a, a nice floral shirt of some kind. And then I could wear black socks. Black socks with blue shorts. And I could walk around all the time going, Hi, Ellen! That was a 
Oh, um, <laughs> I did go over in the voice chat of uh, JB's server. I, I don't want to keep promoting that. Go to my server, Code Primate, uh, Code Primate server, discord.gg forward slash Code Primate. Link is in the description down below. But um, I was over there and I went into the voice chat and the first person that jumped in, they rickrolled me. <laughs> <laughs> they they started up the uh, the rhythm bot, which is kind of like a music playing bot thingy, and uh, it's kind of like what we use for karaoke. And they they started playing <laughs> the Rickroll song, um, "Never Gonna Give You Up." <laughs> I wrote it in the chat, "Ha, gotcha!" I like this song, and I started singing it. So. Never gonna give you up. That's been stuck in my head now. Thank you guys. So whoever whoever did the Rick roll and caused me to sing, you have now gotten that song stuck in my head for the rest of the video. We're just we're gonna have to Never gonna give you up. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if we can make this back. That's a lot of wood. No hitting the sides. None of that. It's going to just be a nice, slow, easy day with a big ol' apology right on top from Code to you, the viewer. You, you, the one that's watching this video right now. I apologize to you, okay? And if you were one of my fans who took off and started going into the other chats or going into other people's YouTube channels and blasting them, Jack UK, Jack, my friend Jack, he got blasted for... You released it! You released the information! Jack was going off the information that he was able to get from the website. I mean... That wasn't what I was mad about. <sighs> yes, I was upset and, and used that as ammo in my little rant, but... No, that's... If you find... Wait, if I need to go that way? No, I need to go down one more and then go left. There we go. This is the one. If you find the axes legitly on the website, I mean, I can't stop you at that, and anyone can do that. That's not that's not cheating. That's not. That's like me clipping through walls. I mean, I can I can wall glitch all day long. And it's something that anyone can do. So. But if you were one of the people who was going over and calling names and, and being mean, I would like, I would request that you go back to whatever comment you said to whoever it was and either erase it or apologize. Because that was not my intent. And a lot of you are going to be like, Code, why... Why are you saying apology? I don't want to make anyone feel ever feel bad about themselves. Ever. That is not the intent of my channel. I want you to feel good about yourself. I want you to feel confident. And, like I said before, I was a hacker. I am a hacker. Once a hacker, always a hacker. I don't exploit anymore. I don't use scripts and stuff like that. But I can respect the art. Because I used to. Um, somebody said... Code's an exploiter now. I said, dude, 1998, 1995, Game Spy, uh, Diablo. I was using exploits back then so I could do town kills and <laughs> invisible to all other avatars. Basically, whenever you're inside the town, you can't pull out your weapon, you can't attack anyone. So I found a way to do it by... Um, Injection. So, can't blame you guys. I used to do it myself. Not, not because of the fact that it was boring or anything else. Just, just to see if I could do it. I was curious. So, and again, this is not to condone your actions of using exploits, which you should not do. But I'm not going to make you feel bad for for doing it if you did. All right. So, I I do apologize. I hope you guys are having a good Friday, and I hope that this week has been awesome and amazing, and yeah, 
what I needed was a day off from yesterday. I just I took a break and I got some sleep. I reflected on on what I had said, what I did, and I just wanted to come in and tell you guys, tell everyone that I'm sorry for the video if it made you feel bad in any way. And I love you guys. I love each and every one of you. All right, exploiter or not, I love you guys. I think you're an amazing group. I think that every single one of you is awesome at building, awesome at scripting and programming, and yeah, I guess that's it. All right, I'll, I'll do the advertisement this time too. That way you guys can get the outro on the outro on the outro. A lot of people complain. They're like, Code, you said outro on the intro. You should have said intro. I, I was just recording. I mean, I didn't put that much thought into it. Love you guys very much. Thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video. That's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. <laughs> Me, 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 me. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com.